Example 2. In this example, I'm going to show you how to use the chain rule to do a problem faster than distributing and then using the power rule. So I have two big functions going on here. I have my inside function, which is 3x squared plus 1. And then I have my outside function, which is something, the quantity squared. So I'm going to let y be equal to u squared. And I'm going to let u equal 3x squared plus 1. And so notice, if I were to take this 3x squared plus 1 and put it in here for the u, I would get my original function back. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking down this composite function into its two pieces. So now what I want to do is take the derivative with respect to u, and I'm going to get dy du is equal to 2u. And then if I take the derivative with respect to x, I get that du dx is equal to 6x. And so I have dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. dy du is 2u and du dx is 6x. So if I write my answer out, I get 12x times u. But remember that u was equal to 3x squared plus 1. So then my final answer is just 12x times 3x squared plus 1. But now I want to show you how to do it by using a shorthand. So if I have this as 3x squared plus 1 quantity squared, I can actually use the chain rule kind of all at once. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to apply the power rule to my outside function. So the power comes down to the front and I get 2 times 3x squared plus 1. And then because of the power rule, you subtract 1. So I'm left with a 1 times the derivative of the inside piece. So I get 2 3x squared plus 1 times and the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 is 6x. And then after simplifying, you see I get the same thing. So now on your own, I want you to try to take the derivative of the square root of 2x squared plus 1. One thing I do recommend is to rewrite this problem as 2x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. All right, so let's give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify my outside and inside function. So my outside function is u to the 1 half. And my inside function is u is equal to 2x squared plus 1. And so I take the derivative with respect to u. And so I get dy du is equal to 1 over 2u to the 1 half. And then I take the derivative with respect to x. And I get that du dx is equal to 4x. And so we have that dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. And so dy du is 1 over 2 the square root of u, and du dx is 4x. So I get dy dx is equal to 4x over 2 square root of u. Here we can simplify the 4 and the 2. So I get dy dx is equal to 2x over the square root of u. But because we have a u in our answer, we have to get rid of that. So I have 2x divided by the square root of 2x squared plus 1. 